Did you see that? The whole factory is an omniverse. It's completely digital. Imagine if you have digital information in your hands, what can you do with it? Almost everything. And so this is one of the things that's really exciting. What you just saw is basically every factory in the future will be digital, of course, first. Every factory will be a robot. Inside the factories, there will be other robots that the factory is orchestrating. We are also going to build robots that move themselves. So far, the robots that you saw are stationary. Now we're going to also have robots that move. Everything that move in the future will have artificial intelligence and will have robotic capability. And so today we're announcing our robot platform, NVIDIA Isaac AMR, is now available as a reference design for anybody who wants to build robots, just like we did with our high-performance computing. NVIDIA builds the whole stack. And then we disaggregate it so that if you would like to buy the chip, that's fine. If you'd like to buy the system, that's fine. If you'd like to use your software, that's fine. If you'd like to use our software, that's fine. If you'd like to use your own algorithm, that's terrific. If you'd like to use ours, that's terrific. However you would like to work with us, we're open for business so that we can help you integrate accelerated computing wherever you like. In the future, we're going to do the same with robotics. We built the entire robotic stack top to bottom, from the chip to the algorithms. We have state-of-the-art perception for multimodality sensors, state-of-the-art mapping, state-of-the-art localization and planning, and a cloud mapping system. Everything has been created. However you would like to use it, you can use pieces of it. It's open available for you, including all the cloud mapping systems. So this is Isaac AMR. It includes, starts with a chip called Orin. It goes into a computer, and it goes into the NVIDIA or Nova Orin, which is a reference system, a blueprint for AMRs. This is the most advanced AMR in the world today. And that entire stack has been built, and let's take a look at it. To improve productivity and increase worker safety, factories and warehouses are migrating away from manual forklifts and guided vehicles to full autonomy. NVIDIA Isaac AMR provides an integrated end-to-end -end solution to deploy fully autonomous mobile robots. The core of the solution is Nova Orin, a sensor suite and computing hardware that enables mapping, autonomy, and simulation. Nova's collection of advanced sensors speeds the mapping process, leveraging our cloud-based service to generate an accurate and detailed 3D voxel map. This 3D map can then be sliced across a plane to generate 2D maps tailored for different autonomous robots that might operate in a facility. With these maps in place, on-robot LiDAR or cost-effective cameras provide autonomous navigation that works reliably in the most complex and dynamic environments. Isaac Mission Control optimizes route planning using the Co-Opt Library. To improve operations, developers can use Isaac Sim and NVIDIA Omniverse to create realistic digital twins of the operating environment. This allows fully autonomous robots to be trained on complex tasks entirely in simulation. All operations can be fully validated using Isaac Sim before deployment to the real world. Isaac AMR accelerates your migration to full autonomy reducing costs and speeding deployment of the next generation of AMRs. Nova cannot tell that it is not in the reality environment. Nova thinks it is in the real environment. It cannot tell. And the reason for that is because all the sensors work, physics work, it can navigate, it can localize itself, everything is physically based. So therefore we could design we could design, oh, therefore, we can design the robot, simulate the robot, train the robot, all in Isaac, and then we take the brain, Isaac Sim, then we take the brain, the software, and we put it into the actual robot. And with some amount of adaptation, it should be able to perform the same job. This is the future of robotics. Omniverse and AI working together. The ecosystem that we have been in, the IT ecosystem, is a quarter of a trillion dollars per year, $250 billion a year. This is the 
IT industry. For the very first time in our history together, we finally have the ability to understand the language of the physical world. We can understand the language of heavy industry. And we have a software tool, we have a software system called Omniverse that allows us to simulate, to develop, to build and operate our physical plants, our physical robots, our physical assets as if they were digitally. The excitement in the hard industries, the heavy industries has been incredible. We have been connecting Omniverse all over the world with tools companies, robotics companies, sensor companies, all kinds of industries. There are three industries right now as we speak that's putting enormous investments into the world. Number one, of course, is chip industry. Number two, electric battery industry. Number three, electric vehicle industry. Trillions of dollars will be invested in the next several years. Trillions of dollars will be invested in the next several years. And they would all like to do it better. And they would like to do it in a modern way. For the very first time, we now give them a system, a platform, tools that allows them to do that. I want to thank all of you for coming today. I talked about many things. It's been a long time since I've seen you, so I had so much to tell you. It was too much. It was too much. Last night, I said, this is too much. This morning, I said, this is too much. And now I realize, it's too much. Shonseida. <laughs> I, I, told you, I told you several things. I told you that we are going through two simultaneous computing industry transition, accelerated computing and generative AI. Two, this form of com computing is not like the traditional general purpose computing. It is full stack. It is data center scale because the data center is the computer. And it is domain specific. For every domain that you want to go into, every industry you go into, you need to have the software stack. And if you have the software stack, then the utility, the utilization of your machine, the utilization of your computer will be high. So number two, it is full stack data scanner scale and domain specific. We are in full production of the engine of generative AI, and that is HGX H100. Meanwhile, this engine that's going to be used for AI factories will be scaled out using Grace Hopper, the engine that we created for the era of generative AI. We also took Grace Hopper and realized that we can extend, on the one hand, um, the performance, but we also had to extend the fabric so that we can make larger models trainable. And we took Grace Hopper, connected to 256 node NVLink, and created the largest GPU in the world, DGX GH200. We're trying to extend generative AI and accelerated computing in several different directions at the same time. Number one, we would like to, of course, extend it in the cloud so that every cloud data center can be an AI data center. Not just AI factories and hyperscale, but every hyperscale data center can now be a generative AI data center. And the way we do that is the Spectrum X. It takes four components to make Spectrum X possible. The switch, the Bluefield 3 NIC, the interconnects themselves, the cables are so important in high-speed uh, high communications, and the software stack that goes on top of it. We would like to extend generative AI to the world's enterprise. And there are so many different configurations of servers, and the way we're doing that with partnership with our Taiwanese ecosystem, the MGX modular accelerated computing systems. We put NVIDIA in the cloud so that every enterprise in the world can engage us to create generative AI models and deploy it in a secure way, hyper, in an enterprise-grade, enterprise-secure way in every single cloud. And lastly, we would like to extend AI to the world's heavy industries, the largest industries in the world. So far, our industry, our industry that I'm, all of us have been part of, has been part, a small part of the world's total industry. For the very first time, the work that we're doing can engage every single industry. And we do that by automating factories, automating robots, and today we even announced our first robotics full reference stack, the Nova Orin. 
I want to thank all of you for your partnership over the years. Thank you. I am here at Computex. I hope that you do like me best. Now my song's in a long thank you. Thank you. From NVIDIA.